today's video, we are trying out a unique way to cook an American holiday dinner. Can we make Thanksgiving entirely deep fried? Guys, we recently filmed what happens if you incorrectly deep fry a turkey. Now, we wanted to see if it's possible to deep fry the rest of a Thanksgiving meal. So we've got a pretty good spread here, and we're gonna try frying all of it and see if any of it improves, if it gets ruined, if it somehow gets improved and ruined, or in the case of some of the liquid things, if it explodes. Here's the basic idea. If you live in America, you've probably heard of deep frying a turkey for Thanksgiving. We're gonna put a spin on this and see if we can deep fry every other part of the meal as well. <laughs> so we've got mashed potatoes, we've got yams and marshmallows mm -hmm. not yet combined. We've got two types of pie, mm -hmm. green beans, stuffing, cranberry sauce. We've got some gravy and we've got some sparkling cider. We usually just make our own at my house. We just mm -hmm. take the apple juice frozen and then mix it with seltzer water. It's exactly the same. Nice. It costs like one fifth as much. <laughs> but in this case, not only are we going to put the juice in, we're actually just going to put the whole bottle down into the deep fryer. We're gonna do that one last. We don't know if we'll have a deep fryer by the end of this video. Guys, how many deep fryers have we been through now? <laughs> you can totally stop me. <laughs> well, it's not even hot enough to fry yet. It's frying a little, not much. Guys, we understand that this is a ridiculous idea. We're not doing this because we suggest it. We're doing it because we want to see how it's going to turn out. We don't know if anything will survive, but we've deep fried lots of foods in the past and we've been very surprised with the results. I didn't actually plan to do that with the croissants, so we'll actually try it in a real way too in a second. Including bread, so what we've managed to do is- <laughs> Make some soggy so bread. A croissant in hot oil. It's not crispy or fried, it's just, it's soggy. <laughs> okay, see, I hate the edge of brownies, but I don't care for brownies in the first place, but I love the edge of pie. Our oil is at about 325, 350, and I think that's a pretty good frying temperature, so we're gonna start. Let's try and fry a whole croissant. All right. All right, I have one of the unfried, so here's your fried. Inside. Look at that. Golden brown perfection. This is probably good. How do you know your green beans are done cooking? They float to the top of the oil. Okay, let those cool. Should we try the bread? Still very warm. Okay. Should we let that cool down? Mmm. Oily. You are not gonna like this at all. <laughs> Deep fried bread. We've done this so many times, I'm still doing this to myself. A yam? You have a yam. All right, let's see what this does. Very, very carefully see what this does. I think our green beans are acceptable to try. I think they're cooked. I'm gonna try and deep fry the mashed potatoes while the yam is going. A lot of moisture in those. Uh oh. What happened? Uh, much of the mashed potatoes is missing. Oh. There was more than that. They may have lost all cohesion. I don't think we cooked most of that. We didn't. We absolutely Very didn't. Outside layer. Very you outside layer. Yes. Of cooked potato, and then a whole bunch of not cooked potato. Okay, Nate, we made French fries. Well, that's what I was saying. How did we not see? Yes, I didn't even think about it. That's how you make French fries. Sweet potato fries. Now we're not gonna do those yams quite yet because those yams are going with our marshmallows. Correct. I think next is our pie. I think this is gonna be kind of like a croissant. It's gonna get really oily, mm -hmm. but there's also gonna be a lot of liquid. You can see that our oil is no longer clear in any capacity. We've just sort of, stuff's just been disintegrating in it now. This is now just an oil pie, but that is just a layer of oil that we're having to dig stuff out of and that the concerning part. This is no longer nice apple pie. Dry oil just poured out of that. Okay, well it's all been in oil now, so. That's delicious. I'm so mad, that is so good. <laughs> so it hasn't melted. I've just discovered my love of pumpkin pie, so let's see if this destroys it immediately. The crust 
course, mm -hmm. will have changed as well. Yep. Absorbed a lot more oil like our other pastry. Yeah, absolutely. Nope. Not a fan? We turned it into goo. Okay, it's like pumpkin pie pudding. Yeah, okay, that's the oddest texture we've gotten so far today. Like, the other things were absolutely confusing. But the gooiness that's happened to the pumpkin pie is odd. Are you wanting to do all of it? Yes. We're gonna back away very quickly from this one. We're about three minutes fried. That has <laughs> held up so much more than I thought. I thought it was just gonna be gone. Yeah, just I did too. Melted away. Because our jello did, but this is a jelly. It's not jello, it's different. It's definitely pockmarked and not happy about life, and our strainer looks great. I don't want to try this. I'll just put this on the pie plate, because why not? It still tastes exactly the same. It's kind of like you took gelatin and blended it, and then just took a scoop of that blended gelatin, so it doesn't hold itself together much at all. But yeah, the flavor is pretty much the same. Yep. Gravy. You want to fry gravy. We said the entire meal, sir. Guys, we will not be trying this one afterwards because it will be impossible to remove. Oh, oh, that was a drop. Let's try a spoonful. A little more. The one thing that smells the best so far, we cannot try. That smells delicious. I'm now very curious about what the marshmallows are gonna do. Oh, they float. Oh no! Oh, yeah. oh, and now oh. It's melting. oh! Oh no! I can! I! I can't! I can't save it! I can't! <laughs> well, we didn't really get any marshmallow out. And we didn't want to. It really did taste like onion-flavored marshmallow. I'm very confused. Crispy outside, soft inside. <laughs> Try some bread. You're welcome. We can't even pull that out. That's burned now. Already? Yeah, badly. You now have crunchy crouton bread. Very crunchy piece of stuffing bread. All right. Hey, oily bread. We have a bottle of sparkling cider. We think we're just gonna put the whole bottle in. If the videos come out, I assume it has at this point, uh, us deep frying a turkey. It is not safe to be anywhere near a frozen turkey getting deep fried. It is probably seen these videos all over the internet. It is a massive hazard. Well, we did that earlier today and we set up a tripod system. Now it didn't survive what we did. So Nate set it up a second time and that's how we're going to lower the Martinelli's bottle down into the hot oil. And then we're gonna run behind a blast shield. We're all gonna be out of the way. Everything's gonna be out of the way and we're gonna wait for the boom. Ready? Yep. Run. <laughs> We're hoping for an explosion. So, hot oil, about three gallons of it, 350 degrees. The Martinelli's, if it gets to, we don't know the exact temperature, but as it heats up, it's going to be building up pressure inside the bottle. My guess is that the top will come off. There's a bottle cap on there and then a plastic cap and then some foil over that. I still think that's gonna be weaker than the glass bottle itself. So my guess is that will pop off and then a lot of liquid will get into the oil and it'll spray in the air. We have the burner off, so there shouldn't be any fire from this, but we'll see if it has enough heat to build up the pressure to open that bottle. Well, it's been like five, 10 minutes. Nothing's happened, so we're going to see if the cord is intact enough that we can raise it back out of the oil. Well, I would say the cord is intact enough. All right, we were a ways away Behind and the building. there was a popping sound and we looked over and there was some oil spraying in the air. The rope is no longer connected to anything. Ooh, uh, it actually might be. I think the bottle did burst. The top of it came flying up out and swung down underneath the pot. Let's uh, see if I can't. Yep, there it is. 
There's the top of our bottle. All right, I think most of the reaction's gone, so I'm gonna turn off the propane first. Good plan. Yeah, the pop did not top, the top did, the pop did not top off the okay word. Whole Thanksgiving meal, minus the turkey, and uh, most things shouldn't deep fry. Sweet potatoes, not bad. The sweet potato fry. The marshmallows may or may not be a good addition to that. I kind of bet there is a way you could do that on purpose, like sure, sure. fry it, and then like right as they're about to be fried, throw in some marshmallows, like get a mixed and pull it up out of that. I bet you could actually come up with a way to get a good texture out of that. You absolutely could if you hate your deep fryer. Mashed potatoes dissolved completely. Cranberry sauce changed texture, but was yeah. no advantage. Nope, not at all. Let's see, croissants? It's crunchy, oily bread. Bread, once it's already been cooked, frying it afterward, it's not a great solution, really. But hey, this was a lot of fun. Overall, this is a bad way to make a Thanksgiving meal, but a fun activity. Guys, that's not all. You know, we always have more for you to see. Click that box up at the top to check out our most recent video, and we will see you in the next one. Talk to you then.